You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. A new report from the Department of Justice shows how UMBC failed to address years of sexual abuse on its swim team. It says former head coach Chad Craddock sexually harassed male athletes and discriminated against female athletes. The DOJ found the university knew about the hostile environment but failed to address it. UMBC put Craddock on leave in 2020. He died by suicide in 2021. The school's president issued a statement about this report, which you can find at WMAR2news.com. 11 people are without a home and four firefighters are hurt after a house fire in Lansdowne. This happened around 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon at the intersection of Hammonds Ferry Road and 1st Avenue. Seven adults and four children are now without a home. No word on the cause of the fire or the condition of those firefighters. A second suspect is named in a 53-year-old cold case. 16-year-old Pamela Conyers was found dead near an intersection site along Route 100 in Pasadena. Last year, genetic testing led police to identify Forrest Clyde Williams III as a suspect, but he died five years earlier. The same technology just identified Donald Willard as a second suspect who died in 2010. Police are now looking to see if these men are responsible for other crimes. And we have more clouds in store for today. Temperatures will be right around where they were yesterday. Most of us will be capping out into the lower 50s, dealing with those breezy winds. I would call them more blustery as they will be out of the west northwest. Gust today anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour. So hang on to your hat today, but that's going to add an additional chill to the air. Taking a look at your temperatures over the next several days, we do climb back near 60 tomorrow for the very first full day of spring. Then back in the 50s later this week, more sunshine on Thursday, another chance of rain on Saturday. Megan? Stevie, thank you. Stay with WMAR2news.com for updates to stories throughout the day. And for your news and weather while you're on the go, download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.